Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and the View host, Whoopi Goldberg, she's in a lot of trouble. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you're not watching us on YouTube, please check that address in the lower right-hand corner. It's youtube.com forward slash at Explain America, and when you get there, please hit subscribe absolutely free. It really helps us out. Guys, <laughs> you know, these people are so self-important. They are so, golly, what's the word I'm looking for here? They're so self-aggrandizing. They, they, they just, they live in their own bubble of their own self-importance. And Whoopi Goldberg accused a local bakery of not wanting to bake cupcakes for her anniversary, her birthday show, whatever it was, birthday show because of her feelings about President Trump. Now, I find it hard to believe, and a lot of the business leaders in the area found it hard to believe. A lot of them Democrats, and they've demanded an apology to this bakery. And there's a lot of heat coming down on Whoopi Goldberg for this from the New York government. Seriously. So they actually demanded this apology, and Whoopi Goldberg... Well, she delivered a groveling, sniveling, weak-kneed little apology. She tried to backtrack, walk it back. You hold a lot of power, Miss Goldberg, because people listen to you for whatever reason that I can't comprehend. And you could have damaged this business. And I pray they sue you into bankruptcy for what you did. You self-important, pompous, arrogant jerk. I want you to watch this. This is the leaders calling for an apology. And then I want you to watch Whoopi Goldberg grovel after that. And then let me know what you think in the comments. What's happening? Uh, Whoopi Goldberg causing problems for a bakery. And now a Staten Island uh, bureau president is speaking. Let's watch. Uh, and I, I think the bottom line here is after we're going to call up uh, Jill, who has had to endure something that she shouldn't have to endure. These people are up at 3 or 4 o'clock every morning. The sacrifices they've made, the holidays they've missed with their families. To make Staten Island better, they have sacrificed for 145 years. Rutherford B. Hayes was the president of the United States, for God's sakes. And they're still here and they're still strong. And they're not going anywhere, despite what other people on television have to say. And frankly, the people who, who defamed Holtman, the Holtman family should apologize to the Holtman family for making stuff up to suit their needs. Not everybody wakes up every day and thinks about politics. A good business person doesn't care about anybody's politics. So with that, I'd like to call up Jill Holterman Bowers. Uh, she deserves 110 percent support. Jill, come on. It's a community that I have to tell you, I'm so overwhelmed by the support between finding out yesterday this even happened, getting phone calls, and then people coming in, people from all over just supporting us in every way. We had phone calls yesterday from Alabama. Guys, I'm going to give you $50, send it to a school, send them donuts, send them cupcakes. The support has been so overwhelming, and I know how hard my family has worked to keep this business alive, and I wish my father was here today to see this. He would never believe it. My bakers come in 2 or 3 in the morning just to have donuts and rolls for everybody to come in and say, we have the best rolls ever. And you know what? It took my whole family. It takes everybody, the community that comes every day to see us. We have this everyday conversation with everybody. How's the family? How's this? This is what makes Holtemans Holtemans. It's the community, it's my fellow everything that come out and us giving back to the community that makes this go round. And if it wasn't for you and Staten Island to make this work, we still wouldn't be here today. So I know my brother, Billy, work hard. Joe, my baker in the back, is here six days a week. He gives his heart and soul to this place. And you know what? My father always said you do what you love. I'm telling you, this is my heart, and I thank you so much for everybody to come out and support us with the Holtman family. It means no the world to me. It really does. Thank you so much. Oh, I was so 
all good. It's all good. The goodness prevails. And just a little background for those who know, there was they had a boiler here. Again, it's been here 145 years. They had a boiler that was 60 or 70 years old. And the first week in November, guess what? It went on the fritz. They had to be replaced. And the the reputation of Holterman's is impeccable. So rather than commit to something they couldn't guarantee, they say we can't do it. And the person who uh, besmirched and defamed them took that as an insult to to her. Well, get over it. Uh, these, this family will be here for God willing another 145 years. And as Jill said, it's her family, it's the Staten Island community, it's the elected officials. And I hope if you're watching this across the country, go online and order something. And so there seems to be a lot of talk about the dessert I requested for my birthday show. I never mentioned the name of the bakery or the location. It does seem a, a little odd that when we called a few weeks before my birthday and we were told they couldn't process the order for my birthday because of an equipment failure, that somehow they were able to accept an order of a different 48 of the same dessert when somebody else called without using my name. But it's all okay, y'all, because I enjoyed my delicious dessert and I had a happy, sweet birthday. Nothing better than that.